Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Burns & Co Auctions, welcome to Echuca and the National Holden Motor Museum. My name's Ashley Burns, be the auctioneer here on the, uh, the weekend of the 18th and 19th of May. Cataloguing's now complete. Fantastic effort by all concerned, including our uh, very dedicated staff and our vendors, uh, Tony and Mark, only closed uh, last Sunday. And here we are, Friday morning, catalogue complete. Around 750 lots to go under the hammer on the weekend of the 18th and 19th. Open day is obviously the day before the 17th and the uh, Sunday leading into the auction will be open up here at Echuca. And uh, as I said a minute ago, around 750 lots to ply through over the Saturday and the Sunday. Please make sure that you pay attention to our website and to any Facebook announcements as we will be doing a, uh, a lot split over the next couple of days. But I can announce that all vehicles, including motorbikes and cars, will be sold on the Sunday, which is the 19th of May. Fantastic catalogue. This place needs no introduction, really. It's an iconic... Uh, it's been an iconic uh, place for all Holden lovers to call in on when up in the, uh, the northwest of, uh, of Victoria. And uh, here we are, the privileged auctioneers to move the, uh, the collection or the museum forward. Been a fascinating uh, a week, really. Stuff that you just don't see. I mean, where are you going to find another independent rear suspension model like that, for example? A lot of these engines are cut down. Anyone that's been to the museum would, uh, would know the quality and the variety that's ahead of us here. Look at that, all catalogued. There will be two auctions, ladies and gentlemen. There will be this live auction that we're talking about on the 18th and 19th of May, which is uh, being sold in front of an auctioneer. And then we'll also have a timed online section uh, where uh, mainly car manuals and, um, and uh, ephemera will be sold. Love those big Monaro posters, have a look at them. This is not a complete walk around, ladies and gentlemen, but gives you a pretty good idea of what's here. Love that EH Prem station wagon. That's lot number 721 for anyone that likes the EHs. There it is. We've even got a great selection of motorbikes from sort of the uh, later model Kawasaki right through to the early, uh, the early Indian, which I'll show you in a minute. Great run of signage. Love the signage myself. Big banners. Holden Museum signs, I'll go well. Peter Brock signatures in the cabinet there. Lots of Peter Brock throughout the uh, throughout the catalogue, obviously. Love the big Holden Ute post, uh, vinyl banner up top there. The uh, three millionth uh, Holden banners there. There's a few of those. There's that Indian motorbike. He sparkles, doesn't he? Have a look at him there. Used car, big Holden signs there. Couple of Sandmans. I mean, there'd be no show without a Sandman or two up this way. I love the, uh, the unreserved stickers on a lot of the cars. Gives the punters uh, a genuine chance. This thing here, I mean, have a look at this. There's the Holy Grail, the 350 HQ Monaro. Matching numbers with the books. Just how they want them, isn't it? There it is there, the 350. Wonder what that's gonna make. What a car. We had Channel 9, a current affair here all day yesterday. Jeez, they hovered around that car for a period of time, I can tell you. They wouldn't have seen anything like that. There we are, back onto the Sandman's up there. Love that brougham. Love that brougham. Nice V8 there for you. That brougham sparkles too. Look at that. She's a beauty. She's lot number 728. Keep an eye on that one. 728. There's the 327 Monaro. An abracadabra. That is unreserved. There's a very good car for you. Silver mink, black interior. Just what you want. Up this way, a couple of good uh, entry level cars there, the little Morris Minor and the start of the Tirana. There it is there. The EK Ute will be very popular. Opportunity to buy the number plates there if you're in Victoria, the 62 Ute plates. Love the EH Ute, there it is, unreserved. Love this FJ. Someone was telling me it's only about 20,000 mile on the clock. I mean, where do you find them? Have a look at the interior on it. Have a look at that. It's got the smell too. Got the smell. There it is, look at that interior. Stood the test of time, hasn't it? 70 year old ute. There it is, one of three. The Holden ever made. 
the Statesman Caprice Coupe 308 V8. Have a look at the plush interior in this. Only made for GMH executives, and you can see why. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. Come around this other side, even got the vinyl roof, vinyl roof, sunroof there for you. One of only three made. That's museum quality, right there. Have a look in there. Look at that. Original interior, 308 V8 automatic, obviously. Statesman Caprice Coupe. Factory made. There it is. There's the tail end of the couple of Sandmans there for you. Come over this way. Have a look at these FXs. That ute's a plum. That ute is a plum. And there we are. This one here is such a good car, little Johnny Howe stood next to it. So there you have it. There it is there. Love the signage. Love this big holding sign up the back corner here. I mean, where do you find them? Have a look at that. She's a beauty. Up this way. I want to show you something. It's something you'll never see again. Follow me. Up we go. Come around this way. Come around this way. Won't hold you much longer. I know you've got a busy day ahead. There it is there. A couple of early industrial uh, workshop uh, bits and pieces. Cut down engines there. Have a look at this thing. In from the Holden uh, workshop. The plate press. Where are you going to find another one of them? There it is there now. There's the plate Ooh. press. It is lot number 305. Look out when that goes under the hammer. So there it is. I could keep talking for days, hours. It's all here. 750 lots going under the hammer here at Tachuca on the 18th and 19th of May. Please keep an eye on the website. Love that, bro. Look at the colour. Keep an eye on our website and our social media platforms as we make further announcements as we move forward. Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, the 23rd of April, this main catalogue, which includes all the vehicles and around 700 lots of uh, memorabilia, will go live with pre-bidding open, and that will then be followed by our timed online auction, which will mainly be the ephemera and some uh, smaller collectibles. A few more cars down this way too. Shouldn't ignore these either. There's a Monaro. There's a project for you. I like the HR, that's a good example there. Couple more, the old Ute. And there's a very good EH parked up there for you as well. That's being offered on an unreserved basis as well. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, before I go, before I do go, I'll just show you down here. I'll just show you down this way. I know it's a, only another minute or so of your valuable time, but let me just come down this way and I'll quickly show you some of the signage down this way that's also going under the hammer. It's pretty important, some of this signage. There's a lot of it down this way. Follow me, won't be much longer. Down we come here and there we are. That's a beauty too. Look at that shell sign. We're going to find another one of them. There it is there, the airbag displays. Down through here, more signage, more opportunity. GMH, General Motors, more posters mounted there. Peter Brock, of course. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's all here at the Echuca Motor Museum. On behalf of Burns & Co Auctions, thank you for your attention. Anyone that has any questions relating to the, uh, the auction or any of the entries, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Ashley Burns on 0408 618 294. And as always, if price matters, think Birds and Co. Thank you.